Hello, hello. Welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm gonna continue working on my 335 IS. Today is the day I take out all the blown airbags, which is the steering wheel airbag and I have the passenger current airbag. I'm going to attempt to remove them. I'm going to also replace the headliner since it's ripped on, on the passenger side. I was thinking since I have another headliner and it's black and it came from another 335 IS, I was thinking I should just get this whole thing out and probably replace but priority right now is to replace the airbags because i want to drive it around but it's uh it's looking really bad so we're going to replace that and we'll see what we can do after that Doodle. Watching a YouTube video makes it look a lot easier than it is. Um, I know where it goes. I just don't know what I'm looking for. So I'm calling for help. Babe. One. That's two. But I've done this probably i'd say it's probably my hundredth airbag so I, I know how to feel for it and then to disconnect the airbags you just pretty much go up on these clips and then you pull up on them cool. and out with the old did i mess up anything no i was digging in there for like 10 minutes can you reconnect the battery yeah it's strange the paddles are not working Changing channels are not working either. Is it a bad steering wheel at this point or is it a wiring issue? Let's play off some of the wires. Thank you. So we're going to go ahead and swap up these two steering wheels none of the functions on this one is working nothing here is working the paddles are not working the buttons are not working so theoretically if we swap on this one and everything starts working that means there's something wrong with the wiring the buttons on this steering wheel if this doesn't work either that means the clock spring right here is the problem so you guys can just look at it kind of like right on um, it does look like it's missing a little white cover as you can see this one kind of has that cover but also could be wrong it could just be the way it looks on the car again the first thing we should go ahead and do is just put on this steering wheel put on the two connections and find out if everything works here that means there's something wrong with our steering wheel. So yeah, nothing's still working. Let's go ahead and start it up. Paddles are still not working. So it looks like our clock spring's probably the issue. if this works now still not working this button but let's check out the paddles oh it's works. working yeah, it, it works so yeah it looks like 100 it was the clock spring so happy that we got that sorted out let's just go ahead and uh 
reconnect everything and hopefully it'll be a-okay. Let's put this in. So now that we got everything timed up and everything connected, should we just reconnect the airbag? We should be ready to go. Make sure the battery is disconnected when you guys do this. You do not want an airbag blowing in your face. The paddles are working. Yeah, the buns are all working. Okay. Perfect, and she's looking good now. She's looking good, everything's working. I guess now we take it out for a quick little spin to see if the DSC light will go away. Like this. Well, you might want to turn it off. Either the belt or the pulleys or something is just, you know, bad. No issue for a new day. Another video. <laughs> Good morning and welcome back to another video. It's actually the same video from yesterday. I'm just finishing it up today. I got a new camera and I feel like a new person and it feels like a new day. For today's job, we're going to need this set of tools. This is really nice and neat. I just feel like it, you can't help but keep it organized and have everything in place. So this is from Keys Motorsport. This is the riveting tool from Amazon. And we got the rivets from BMW. And I got the current airbag from Natty Auto Parts. And this is Natty. What's up? He is gonna do all the work for me. So shout out to him. I got him from husband.com. <laughs> <laughs> and I have the headliner also from Natty Auto Parts. And I have this box from which auction yeah, we're not gonna talk about the auction <laughs> okay let's get working on it then the tools are nice but when you do an entire headliner power tools are nicer and this heat that is so hard i'm sweating you barely even started so one of the main reasons we're actually replacing this headliner is because right over here as you guys can see there's like a huge kink there you probably could just push it back in place and you know put the headliner back together but the kinks just look pretty bad there's a tear right over here i mean there's a lot of salvage cars we see that they honestly just kind of push things back together because these headliners are really hard to get and ordering them online they're very expensive because of the shipping Thankfully, we have it here locally uh, from our business, so that worked out for us. We got it for quite affordable, pulled it out of one of our donor cars. So we're just gonna go in and slap it in with a new one that's never been an accident, so a little look like a clean title, which is what we've been trying to aim for since the beginning on this car. We have been running into a lot of obstacles, but I think so far, so good. We're not doing too shabby, and uh, I think we got everything we need. are out we are just trying to put the new one back in but we went into this little issue where we got the wrong tool for it so we're going to try to figure it out hopefully we can get this done today okay we went to harbor front we found a manual tool hopefully this one will work we'll just test it out and see how things go from here about airbag connected current airbag installed 
Muy bien. I can see why they made electric ones of these because this is a pain in my butt. <laughs> I'm breaking a sweat, baby. Good news is, if this $20 tool only makes it for this car, I'll take it. <laughs> oh, hallelujah. <laughs> I'm not doing anything, I'm dying right here. <laughs> Sometimes. Oh my god. I would say this is jank, but this is literally the way to do it. Unless you have like an actual tool with the exact size of a BMW head. Actually, by the way, if any of you guys know the exact size of these rivets, please let us know so I can just order the head online. I don't know how to take dimensions of these rivets, so like, I don't even know. We're done. Hallelujah. And it's connected. Should probably reconnect the battery, clear the codes. And make sure that airbag on the airbag light is gone. We did replace the buckles, um, which could also cause an airbag light. We replaced this, which could also cause an airbag light. So theoretically, we should have no airbag lights with everything connected. So let's go ahead and plug in the scanner and clear the codes. So right now, you have to do a calibration here in a little bit. But other than that, we just have some airbag lights. We have a seat buckle light. So theoretically, when we clear the codes here, that should go away. And if that goes away, that means we have all of our airbag system good to go. And that also means that this car is 100% safe. It means the airbag system is activated. Um, so let's go ahead, scan the car, and go ahead and clear the fault. Clearing successful. Yep. See right there? No more airbag light. If we put on our seatbelt, the seatbelt light should go away now. Yep talking about um, but yeah it looks like everything does work so at this point let's go and re-disconnect the battery and uh start reassembling this whole headliner Okay, so Nur is gonna go ahead and continue working on the headliner while he's talking with Nick over the phone. They're going to go ahead and work on the codes. Um, I was thinking maybe we we're gonna wait until Nick is here, but thankfully they're able to do it over the phone, so that's pretty cool. How does that look from the outside? OEM. OEM plus. OEM plus note. Looking like OEM plus from over here. I always gotta do the passenger side. While I'm actually working on the headliner, I got my boy Nick over here. He's gonna help us recalibrate this, the, the clock spring on this car and then just you know further diagnose anything else. I think honestly the only error we have is a TPMS. So we're gonna try to get rid of the TPMS and just recalibrate the clock spring and this car is literally gonna have no lights on the dash, which is gonna be super satisfying considering that this thing had so many lights when we first got it. All right, guys, I am it's so hot. I am sweating up a storm. You guys probably see my whole shirt right now. We got the entire headliner put back. We got all the codes knocked out. Shout out to Nick for that. So um, we got everything calibrated, everything reset. We have no more airbag lights, no more um, DSC or any other you know weird lights in that nature. And also at the same time, while Nick was in there, he grabbed the code for this car. We're getting a second key for this bad boy. And at the same time, we actually got the transmission flash. Um, so it should be a little bit quicker. So DCT trans, here we come. It's gonna be super fun. Interior computers um, physically is officially complete on this salvage. 335 IS. So I think, what do you think, baby? I think we should start uh, working on the exterior now. Yes, but not today. It's 108 degrees. Or eight. 108 right yeah, now. I need to go shower. I lost, according to you, so many electrolytes. You, you, yeah, you need to rest and eat and drink. Yeah, I, amen to that. I, I appreciate all your, all your work. Also, we actually put in a dash cam as well. We actually got a lot done in this. I know. <laughs> 